Hey everyone, welcome to How Inez Rolls. I have something super special to show you and I can't wait to use it. Let's do this. Over at Elect Homes sent me a waffle maker, you guys. So I have to tell you, I love making homemade waffles, but probably about a year ago or so, our waffle maker went kaput. And honestly, it wasn't really the best anyways, but I was, uh, I came across Happy Mail from Elect Homes and I can't wait to try this product. Plus, I'm going to show you a couple of awesome recipes that you can make in your waffle maker. And of course, they're going to be waffles. How delicious are waffles? And let me know if you love waffles. I'm a fan, let's get started. So it's pretty easy to use, you guys. It's also pretty compact, so I can put it standing straight up and I'll show you later. But all you have to do is just kind of push it down on here and it will open up. So I plugged it in and now we're just going to let those griddles get hot. So how about we make some strawberry cheesecake waffles? Mm, so good. So this will have a light that will go green when it's ready. So easy. So we're gonna start off with two and a half cups of your pancake waffle mix. I mean, anyone will do. Um, and you're going to probably end up putting a little bit more of the batter in it, but uh, just kind of the consistency you want. You know, if it's too runny, then you probably wanna add a little bit more. So I have two and a half cups right here. And then we're going to add um, some water, just some basic stuff. So that with these recipes with this batter you just add water right but we're also going to add some oil so we're going to add two-thirds cup of oil that will help it to not stick to the sides while it's in the waffle maker every waffle um, recipe if i've ever made does include oil in it for that reason um we're also going to add eggs so this is going to make it extra special you guys once you have your four eggs in, you're just gonna get a batter of the mixer and just mix that up, but don't over mix it. All right, got my batter done. It took about three, three and a half cups, which the recipe does call for three cups. So I'll be linking that recipe below anyways, so you can just use it as a, as a guide. But I like mine a little bit thicker, a little more jiggly. <laughs> so that's why I put about three and a half cups. So. Now we're gonna get this waffle maker going. All right, my light is green, so all I'm gonna do is open it up, give it a little bit of a spray, even though you don't have to because they have a non-stick surface, it's just me, I don't know. So I am just gonna give it a little light spray just because that's how I do this. So I am going to start putting spoonfuls. Now it's about a half of a cup per waffle but I have a good little ladle here, so I am just gonna go with that first and just make sure it's all covered. You don't want it to spill over, but it's looking good. And then we're just gonna close it. It has a little lock on there, and I'll just wait for a few, about four to five minutes, and it'll be done. So while those are cooking, I am gonna get started on the cheesecake sauce. So I have a brick of cream cheese. This is an eight ounce brick. I'm gonna put this into the microwave for about 30 seconds, and then I'll show you what we do next. All right, that just came out. So to that, I'm gonna add a whole can of sweetened condensed milk and about two tablespoons of lemon juice. So then we're just gonna blend that. I'm interrupting this blending by showing you the first batch of waffles coming out. Look at how golden-y those are. Wow. So I'm just gonna use some a fork to just take it out and then just keep going with the rest of the batter. Sauce is done, or I should say the cream base. I'm gonna taste it. That is so good, it tastes so much like cream, like a cheesecake. So we're gonna be using strawberries. And so I took out some from the freezer and I'm just letting them thaw out. I put about a tablespoon of sugar on it just to kind of incorporate that in there. Plus I'm going to cut up. I have some leftover strawberries here 
and add that into the mix as well that we can put on top of it all. So I can't wait to try it. And then I'm gonna show you after I'm all done with the strawberry one is another recipe that I think you're gonna love too. And it is so quick and easy. And don't be afraid to open it up. I just open the lever, just kind of check on the waffles and it's totally fine. So if you're feeling a little like, oh, has it been too long? Do I have enough? Should it cook longer? Just check, totally easy. Sure did make a lot of waffles, don't you think? That recipe is awesome. So how about a different recipe, you guys? Something that's so easy and quick. How about waffle omelets? So I have over here in this bowl, a couple eggs, some salt and pepper, some milk, like maybe a tablespoon to two tablespoons of milk. And also the same with cheese. Just gonna mix that up really quick. I get it in the waffle maker. I am gonna give this one a little bit of a spray just because it's we're dealing with a different texture here. And I'm kind of hoping that I didn't put too many eggs. But, guess we will see. You guys, it's totally fine. So just kind of spread out that cheese. When I wanted to show you something, after it's all done cooking, do you see where it says pan out? So let it come to a complete cool, but those pop out for cleaning. Time <gasps> to clean up and it's an so easy. So I already showed you how to pop out the little um, pans with the push out button. So we're just gonna put them in the, into the dishwasher. So the eggs are done, they smell really good. I would, however, do one egg at a time because I think one egg would go over both nicely with the, the mixture of the milk and the cheese and all of that, so that would be good. But, I mean, I did two and it was fine. It just had a little bit of a runoff, but I wiped it up really fast. So, let's get these on the plate and let's start dishing up. All right, it's time to put them together. So I just grabbed a couple of waffles. I'm gonna take our mixture and spread that on top. I'll bring it even closer. Oh, yes. <laughs> this looks so good, you guys. Can you imagine having this like on the weekends with your families? Man, this looks so good. And this is gonna be pretty sweet, so you don't even need the syrup. My kids tend to kinda shy away from syrup anyways if I have a little bit of sweet stuff like in it, so but this one won't even need it. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna put some um, of our, the scrambled egg is kind of like a cheesy waffle that is with egg. Kind of fun to do something a little bit different. That's for one kid. Mm -mm. All right, let's see what the boys think. All right, Az, what do you think? That was good. Do you like it? Yum. I'm so glad we have a waffle maker again that I can make them, right? Mm -hmm. So good. And Kobe, what do you think? Pretty good. Pretty good. Does it have like a cheesecakey taste? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And he also has the eggs, the scrambled eggs that we put in the, actually the waffle eggs. You have to take a bite of those and let me know what you think. So good. My turn. That is so good. Oh man. So those waffles, I used to like to make them in bulk, kind of like this, put them in the freezer or the refrigerator and just let the family eat them throughout the week. If you're gonna hold them long term, definitely keep them in the freezer and you can just put them in the microwave for like 30 seconds and they're good to eat. So let me know in the comments what you think of these waffles and this recipe. 
And of course, this waffle maker from Elect Homes. So I'm so grateful to them for sending me out the happy mail and I'm so glad. And down below in the description box will be a link to get your own plus a coupon code for a discount. So you'll have to let me know if you end up getting one because maybe I'll put up some more recipes for waffles. So I'm so glad to all you rollers for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and let me know what your favorite waffle is. And stick around, rollers. You just never know what I'll be rolling out next. Bye, everyone. After they're all clean, you just pop them back in. You just store it up here. Boom. Hope you like the recipes.